was a day like every other in the train yard. Stevie and Marklin were having a conversation. I don't like Germans, said Marklin, the literal fucking meme. I beg your pardon, said Stevie, the steam train. I don't like controllers, repeated Marklin gruffly. You can't, you can't, you, you can't say that, said Stevie, who always stuttered badly at the most inappropriate moments. There are two types of people in this world. The controllers and the control. No, said Marklin. Yes, retorted Stevie coolly. No, said Marklin again, who was getting increasingly annoyed. It's kind of like how the Nazis controlled the Jews, said Stevie. Railway controllers do the same thing. Marklin was tired of Stevie's jousting, but without hands or feet, he couldn't kick Stevie's ass. I just don't like controllers, said Marklin. Fine, said Stevie. You had me worried, though. At first, I thought you liked Hitler. Oh," said Marklin. "I like totalitarian dictators as well." And with that, Marklin left to get his train and go interrogate Gale the guards. Thank God that engine is gone. I can finally have some peace," muttered Stevie. "Hello, Stevie," said the politically correct, extremely obese controller. "Your prick, your prick, your politically correct controller." Said Stevie, the steam train. I thought controllers were corrupt, money-hungry capitalists with bad haircuts, spray tans, and a complete influence over all important government decisions regarding the environment and healthcare, and and whether or not to kill high-ranking foreign military officials. This, boasted the politically correct, extremely obese controller, is my politically correct railway. You can't, you can't, you can't have a politically correct railway, said Stevie. It doesn't work that way if you have millions of tax dollars on private golf resorts and five dollar spray tans. Fuck! Said the politically correct, extremely obese controller. You got me there. And with that, the extremely obese controller's tiny thumbs got to work tweeting more lies. <laughs>